Hi guys and welcome to a new video. Today I have Samsung Galaxy S6 with me and today we are going to install and review the S8 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. So I will split this video uh, into two parts. So in the first part, we are going to take a look at this ROM and in the second part, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to install this S8 port on your Samsung Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge. So now let's start with the review of this ROM. So this ROM here is called the Noble S8 port for the Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. This means that you will get everything from the Galaxy S8, so everything is ported, the whole system. You will even get the S8 iris scanner in the settings of this ROM, but as the Galaxy S6 hasn't got any iris scanner, um, this feature won't work of course. But despite of that, everything is working just fine on this ROM, so I love this ROM. It's really amazing and it's really smooth. Um, as you can see, it is uh, quite minimalistic, so you, so you don't get any useless extra features on this ROM, which is also really amazing to see. You get all that standard things here, which is also really nice to see. As you can see, we got that S8 launcher here, and it does not lag. This is also really nice. So the S8 launcher on the stock ROM was really laggy, but as you can see here, it is really smooth. Yeah. So basically this here is the launcher, you can see that you also got the S8 um, style weather widget and the S8 style weather app itself. You can see you got the S8 style um, search bar there, this Google search bar. You also get this um, S8 style live widget there which is really amazing. And you also get a new animation when you unlock your phone here. Um, it looks really nice as you can see here. On the left side of the launcher we got the Hello Bixby thing here all that standard stuff like on the Galaxy S, um, S8 and yeah as I've already said this ROM comes with all the S8 apps so the phone app is also the one of the uh, Galaxy S8 you can see you got that uh, you get you get that places tab there and uh, yeah you get that messages um, messages app also from the Galaxy S8 and you can also see that you got a new animation I mean if we open the app you can see that um, the app opens directly from this um, icon here so if you, if you press and there you can see that the app opens from this icon and it also goes back to this icon as you can see so this is the animation of the Galaxy S8 which looks also really nice on this phone so um, but not everything is ported or not each app has the design of the Galaxy S8. For example, we have the camera here and the camera is the only app which is not ported. So this here is the stock um, Galaxy S6 camera here with that filters on the right. You also get the modes here. So you won't get that Bixby vision on this thing because this here is the stock camera. But you know, it's also a really nice camera and it's enough for everything. So as you can see here, I've I got the uh, flat model of the Samsung Galaxy S6 here, but I've also got the edge panels. You can see that the edge panels are also the same as on the Galaxy S8. You can see the Galaxy S8 phone here in the introduction menu. Let's skip this here. And here you can see all the S8 um, panels. You also get the um, smart select panel where you can basically um, where you can basically take a screenshot of a uh, area so if you want to take a screenshot of the weather widget here you can basically do that with pressing on this done button and this is basically it. you can save it from here you can do the same with um, gif too so you can basically start a gif from here and um, it's just works here which is also really nice so this feature was also presented on the galaxy note 7 but now we have it uh, on the galaxy s6 too so as I've already said, uh, this ROM is really minimalistic, so you don't get any um, useless features on this ROM. So basic basically you get all that S8 um, apps here, so also the clock is from the Galaxy S8. You also get the Galaxy S8 cal calculator and you also get this, uh, these unit converters. So these unit converters uh, are, were not available on the stock calculate calculator of the Galaxy S6, but now you have all these nice things. So um, so this is also the Galaxy S8 calculator, which is also really nice. But something which I didn't like that much in, uh, about this ROM is that it still has this internet beta thing, um, this beta app here. I mean, the um, Samsung has already launched the um, official 
um, S8, the internet app and the Galaxy S8, but this ROM still has this beta thing. I'm not quite sure if this is a new, newer version, but I would uh, like to have the um, final build that, rather than having the beta here. And it also does not look that nice. I mean, it has this beta sign there, you know, it does not look that nice on this um, after over here. So on the settings menu, um, there are also a lot of um, amazing features which we um, don't have on the Galaxy S6 usually. So of course you'll get all that standard things like connection sounds, notification and all that. But here in the display options there are some small new things which weren't available on the Galaxy S6 before. So of course you also get that blue light filter but this was also presented before on the Galaxy S6 but you now um, but now you can change the display re uh, resolution which is also really nice so this uh, feature was not presented on the Galaxy S6 running on Mar uh, running on Nougat so now you can change the, the uh, resolution of the screen you can make it full you can make it 2k from here and as you can see it works just nice so there were other ROMs which uh, had issues with this uh, screen resolution option but those, this ROM hasn't got any issues here um, so you can scale it from HD to full HD and to 2k here so you can use HD to save power or to get a better performance games maybe so you won't basically get more battery life with that but you can definitely increase the power of your phone using that and yeah now let's select it here to full HD and uh, yeah the thing is that um, the settings app has also something some features which the Galaxy S6 does not um, does not support for example we have the navigation bar here here you can customize and navi customize your navigation bar but the thing is that the galaxy s6 hasn't got any navigation bar at the bottom so we have this ha uh, hardware keys keys at the bottom but you know we get that um uh, area here or this navigation bar option although we haven't got any navigation keys here so this is quite you know a bit uh, annoying to have uh, uh, to have options like that if you can't use them actually but um, I'm quite sure you won't get uh, you won't be annoyed that much about that and uh, right there's also something called edge um, edge screen you get all that standard things you also get the edge lighting which is quite useless on a flat phone but yeah so this is pretty much it here of course you uh, also get the screen zoom thing here so you can make everything large here as you can see everything has got uh, large now you can see the notification panel is also much larger right now and you can also make it um, quite small here which is the default one so let's say apply and you can see everything has got smaller the, not uh, the notification panel is also smaller here and uh, yeah now let's set it back to uh, where is it? Here it is. Let's set it to, to the middle here. And yeah. So here in the device maintenance, you can check the battery life and the memory. Um, so let's get into, into the memory first. Here you can see that it uses like 1.8 um, gigabytes of the whole RAM, which is a bit more than the half. But you know, it's still okay. Um, I mean, I'm using this ROM about two hours now and it's really performing quite well in things of memory usage um, so there shouldn't be any issue issues about that the thing is that the battery life is also quite okay but it's not the best one you know there is um, no s8 port also from the also for the samsung galaxy s7 so there's no s8 port which runs really amazing in terms of battery life you'll get like five hours of screen on time maybe even six hours of screen on time with this phone here but um you know this should be enough to get a full day i think yeah this ROM has also got something called wallpapers and themes, of course. Uh, so the thing is that this Samsung Themes app is the app of the Galaxy S8, so you can download some AOD um, layouts or AOD clocks from here, which is also really nice. We are going to take a look at the AOD later on. Here we have the icons, so you can apply the icons separately from the themes, and you can also download some amazing wallpapers from this store and yeah talking about the always on display this rom has got the always on display fully working so here you can see you you got six different modes so let's select the default one here and here you can see that the 
always on this place working really nice here so uh, you also get that s8 uh, background for the always on display and yeah the thing is that the double um tap on the notifications is also working which is really amazing to see and you can even wake the phone with uh, uh, pressing on that home button twice here and now the phone is uh, on here as you can see which is really nice you also got the edge um, the edge clock here which is also really nice so this is a flat phone but you get it, you got it anyway here you got the edge clock you got the home button at the bottom and right so this is pretty much it here in the settings so let's get into about phone here here you can see that the model number says that it is a um, galaxy s8 here the rom here as you can see it's a novel it's the novel s8 port rom if you can go to software info it's based on android 7.0 samsung experience version is 8.0 uh, 8.1 sorry and yeah so this is pretty much it here in the settings now let's take a look at the um, notification panel. So here in the notification panel you can um, also enable the multi-user feature here which is really amazing to see. And yeah you can see that the notification panel looks really similar to the old notification panel on the Galaxy S6. But the thing is that you haven't got the search bar at the top so now the notification panel looks much cleaner in my opinion so it looks much better without the search bar at the top. and yeah so this is pretty much it here you can also directly record the screen here which is also really nice for you so you don't need to download any screen recorder app if you want to um, record your screen you all got that you got that blue light filter and all that darn stuff here you can turn on or turn off your always on display you can change the style of your always on display directly from here which is also really nice to see um you got wi-fi calling do not disturb and all that darn stuff you also got that touch sensitivity button which uh wasn't there before i guess and yeah so this is pretty much it so there's also a small change in the recent apps section here here you can see that um, it's really smooth here and if we close the recent apps panel it is much smoother than it was before so as you can see it's really smooth there are no legs or something similar to that and you can also see that you got this three dot menu here here you can lock, basically lock some apps here so let's lock um, the settings and the always on display here and say done and after that you can press on uh, close all and you can see, you can see that these two apps are still there and you can um, you can you can basically close them with uh, swiping them to the right or to the left and yeah so this is pretty much it So now let me show you how to, how to install this ROM on your Samsung Galaxy S6. So the first thing you need to do is to download the ROM, of course, at the first place. And after that, you need to um, you need to copy the ROM to your device. And after that, you need to boot into the recovery mode. For that, you need to power off your device first. After that, we need to boot into the team and, look, team and recovery project, press the volume up button, the home button and the power button at the same time. And release these buttons uh, until you see this boot screen. So now we are in the TWRP recovery and the first thing you need to do is to go to the wipe option and perform a wipe. After that, go back to the install option and locate the ROM where you stored it. In my case, it's in the internal storage um, because the Galaxy S6 hasn't got any micro SD card slot, of course. And just locate your ROM. So here it is. Press on it and swipe to flash. So now we are in the aroma installer of this uh, ROM. Press on I agree with this. Press next. Press next again. Say clean install. Say next. Press uh, choose your model if we have the edge variant press on this uh, one here if we have the um, flat model press on this here press on next here you can uh, enable some builds dot prop tricks like the multi-user um, option if you want to have this press on it say next again here you can uh, install the edge features if you are a flat user here you can um, 
here we can uh, install a sound mod if you want to here we can change your fonts and you can also ch uh, change your emojis so now let's select the ios emojis because i because i personally don't like the samsung stock emojis and yeah so now the rom is installing you just need to wait and uh, yeah So the installation is finished now and you can um, say next now and now the form will um, boot up uh, if you press here so just press on there and now the phone will boot up to the system so again we just need to wait and then you are good to go. So the RAM uh, installation process is completed now and now you just need to set up your phone. So this was, this was basically it here. And right, so you just need to set up your phone now and yeah. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a dislike and peace out.